it's me, Bonnie Barstow. Well, that's Dr. Barstow to you. Today we are working on something that is very special to me. It's my mobile command center, where I take care of Kid. Remember that time when Michael's evil, evil twin brother Garth escaped from the semi in Las Vegas by climbing out a vent in the roof? Well, after the foundation sold the semi due to budget issues, the new owners removed the vents and sealed them shut. So we are going to put the vents back in. Before we start, smash that like and subscribe button so we get to 100,000 subscribers, faster than you can say Turbo Boost. Okay, roll that beautiful intro. Okay, well, a big thanks to Dr. Barso for coming and kind of giving you an overview of what's going to be in this video. So, as she said, this needs to come out. This is one of two um, vents in the series that have been plugged up. And, you know, I always wondered why the vents were off-centered on the trailer. Really, you think, well, why didn't they just put it down the center? Well, it's because of this um, strut here, which... Uh, was part of the winch mechanism that opened and closed the door. And originally, you know, we said this was a unistrut, and then we said it was a wire cable guide. The latest theory is this actually had a trolley on it that would help control the, uh, that would help guide the wires back and forth. So um, that's our latest theory. We'll see how that goes. All right, so these panels are siliconed in and they had rivets in the corners. I've already ground the rivets out on this one, so I'm gonna see if I can break the seal and get this door popped open, or this popped open. I'd prefer to do it from under here, because I don't really want to get on the roof today. So let's see if we can break this seal. <sighs> Opening these up after how many years? or at least attempting to open them up. Come on. Of course I've got one here. I don't think I ground that rivet out enough. Oh, there, got it. All right. Give it up. Come on. Ah. Oh. Daylight. Well, oh, oh, there's all kinds of sand up here from when they sandblasted. There we go. There's one of the vent doors. So now we got to clean out. There's tons of silicone up here. We got to get this all cleaned up before we install the other vent, which will be today because I'm not leaving a giant hole in the ceiling. I don't think I should climb out here like Garth did. Actually, he didn't climb out this vent. He climbed out the one back there, but uh, yeah, got a lot of cleaning up to do around this edge. Lots of uh, debris here. 
So we'll go ahead and get this scraped and then install the uh, replacement vent, which is identical to the one that was on here. Okay, let's go. Well, this might be the most awkward filming position. This whole, I have no idea how hassle, I mean, I shouldn't say no idea, but like I can't even go up any higher because my hips touch the edges of these. So, I mean, it was tight for Hasselhoff for sure. So I'm gonna attempt, because I really don't want to climb up on the, I mean, I could, I don't know, I'm not a big fan of heights. So I'm just gonna stay here and see if I can get some of this scraped off. And then I have a wire wheel here. We'll see if we can clean it off even further. Thankfully, a lot of this is coming off fairly easily. Figure we can get this done. Look at all the original black. I don't know if you can see it. Lots of original black under here. To get this lip here uh it's bent in places come on i can only imagine the semi was going down, was it by Red Rock Canyon in Las Vegas? And Hasselhoff actually, while the semi was going down the road, I mean, I'm what, 14 feet up at this point, actually climbed out while the semi was going down the road, hung his legs off the side, and then they cut to a stuntman. So I'm, I'm shocked that they allowed him to do that, to be honest with you. Where am I? Okay. Let's see if we can get some of this off over here. There you go. Anybody need? Oh, probably not original. I'm pretty sure what I'm scraping off is some of the original sealant from when the vent was here, because it's totally, you can tell it's super old and it's a different color than the vent, and uh, then the sealant that was actually holding the cover plate on. Okay. Let's bring you maybe around this way. Do, 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 do. Bring it down a little. There we go. So the question is, can I rotate on the... Okay, this ladder is pretty wobbly. I'll be right back. It's always a, uh, you have to be real careful because these are sharp edges and I really don't feel like cutting up my arms today. There we go, all right, that's better. There are all kinds of extra holes here that are obviously from the original vents. With any luck, we'll be able to reuse those original holes. Unless, of course, the vent manufacturer changed the bolt pattern in the last 40 years, which they might have. My guess is these vents were here purely 
for, well, ventilation. It probably got really hot in here and they were probably trying to get the uh, hot air out. I think that makes sense. At least it does to me. Okay, so I've got pretty much all I can get off here. So what I'm gonna do now, or I'm gonna attempt to do now, is use this wire brush and clean up this edge so we have a nice clean surface because we're gonna put new sealant down around the edge of the vent. So let's see if I can do this really close. Maybe if I do it like this. Oh, of course that all blows in my face. Let's try it this way. Awkward. It's really neat as I do this, I can see the original line where the vent, the original vent was, which I'll bring you in here once I get this done and I'll show you. awkwardly because I don't feel like climbing back down and turn the ladder around again. so you can see it a little bit closer where we're at so far. So there you go. So you can see if you look closely, that line right there, this is the original black seal, roof sealant from the show, I believe. And you can see the line right through here of where the original vent was. See that? It's very clear. But so I need to get up here and I need to flatten all this. I need to get these marks out these ridges this needs to be super flat before we even think about putting the vent on but it's cleaned up pretty nice i'll go over it one more time this stuff is not coming off but it doesn't need to because the vent stops right here do you want to help with the semis restoration donate now to the semi restoration gofundme initiative or buy one of our awesome semi-restoration team shirts. Links are in the video description below. All right, so I got some tools here. First, let's see if we can get, thankfully this is all thin aluminum, so it's easy enough to bend. It'll be interesting to see if the uh, new vent slides right in or if we're gonna have to trim a little bit because like i said visually it's identical to what was in there we took screenshots we compared everything but you know you just don't know if little things changed over the last 40 40 more 40 plus years that caused that would have caused this to uh change sizes a little bit all right Number of these holes have 
protrusions. So we're gonna go through and fix this stuff now. here. Oh, this side's all wonky. Right here. better. Oh, that already looks much better. It doesn't take much. I think we're almost ready to test fit the vent. We are ready to test the vent. That looks pretty awesome. All right, so the vent with the flange, I can't bring up through this hole. So I'm gonna have to get a ladder, walk it up the side, set it here. Of course, then I can't test fit it with me in the hole. Okay, well, you know, we'll figure it out. take some of the stuff we don't need back down. Oh, so awkward without cutting your arms. There we go. Be right back. All right. There's the vent. Be right back. Okay. Come back. Oh. That's a good workout. All right. So there's the replacement vent. Now, obviously, when Hasselhoff went through it, they took the screen out, they took the knob out, but you can still see this cross member in there. In the, uh, or I'm sorry, not that cross member. Here, let me open it and I'll show you. So when the door flaps open and Hasselhoff's getting out the roof, they gutted this, but this piece right here, this, this uh, cross member, whatever you want to call it, bracket, was still on there, but there's no foam on there either. But this will actually be really nice because on these warm summer days, I can actually crack it open and help the heat escape from the trailer. So, all right, so let's close this back up. So now we got to figure out a couple things. First, is this going to fit in the existing hole? It's going to be close. Oh, and also we got to figure out, so it's got to go this way. Yeah door needs to open towards the front of the trailer. So let's just, um, I'm going to go back down and see if I can finagle this in the hole and see what happens. All right, again, slowly back down. Huh. Well, I'll be Look at that. Fits perfectly. Now, of course, I don't know if the holes line up. I'm going to say the holes do not line up. But it fits. So I think what I'm going to do. Let's 
see here. Oh yeah, that fits real nice. So. Now the question is, do I drill? I think I'm gonna drill holes into the vent, not the trailer roof. I mean, technically it probably doesn't matter. All right, so. I need to go get a marker. So off camera, I went ahead, I degreased the flanges. I got the appropriate holes drilled that should line up with the holes already in the roof. So now it's time for installation. So we're gonna use this black all weather, 15 year, freezing UPV proof silicone sealant. And we're gonna apply generously. Because the last thing we want, this is so awkward. And yeah, maybe I'll turn it around to do the backside. Okay. Let's put a little bit more on this back wall here. Just, there we go. Okay. <sighs> like I said, awkward. Okay, there. Now, Come down. Trying to get all the corners in, if I can. Okay, take a look at that. One of the roof vents is back in business. I ended up opening the vent. I was able to get all the rivets in up here. And then I went ahead and siliconed the crap out of them. So that should be good. I'll probably go up, maybe I'll smooth that out a little bit. And then we're gonna seal the roof. When we seal the roof, we'll seal right up to the flange there. So no water is getting in. So how awesome is that? Now we gotta do it all over again for the back vent. But uh, that was a big, big win. And as a bonus, it's a little bit lighter in there now whenever I open that, because it was pretty dark up here since we removed the window. So now we can open that, get a little extra light in there and help to get some of that hot air out of there when we're working inside. So coming along, how awesome is that? All right, so there's the one we did. And I'm not gonna film the whole process because I already did for the front one, but I got the back hatch open back up. So this is the actual one that David Hasselhoff climbed out of. And just to kind of give you an idea, I'm going to give you an idea of what he saw when he climbed out of here. So I'm going to take you towards the light. So he climbed all the way up here. And then this is what he saw. And the camera would have been right out there. And then he hung his legs over the side there. 14 feet off the ground. It's just nuts. All the while driving down the highway. Absolutely nuts. All right. And now I present to you both vents installed and opened. 
Tell me that doesn't look awesome. Now the roof can be sealed. All right, guys. I know it's it's funny because it's one small thing, but it's it was a big project. So if you stick with me this long, thanks so much. Work continues on the semi. Hope you guys are sticking around for it. It's getting exciting. We're rebuilding it. It won't be long before this thing is black, heading down the road, and a Trans Am's rolling out the back. If you haven't subscribed already, do me a favor. Subscribe. Hit the like button. Share it with your friends. Thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you next time. Thank you.